Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marla's Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Mathematics 6 and I'm Teacher Les. Our lesson is about performing basic operations on integers. We have the addition of integers. This is the rule in adding integers. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number and you'll be exact. So, para mas madali siyang matandaan, kantahin natin sa tono ng row, row, row your boat. So, it goes like this. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number and you'll be exact. Same sign, ibig sabihin, kapag parehong positive or parehong negative ang numbers, you will add and keep. Ang ibig sabihin ng keep ay kukopyahin mo lang yung sign. Different sign, ibig sabihin, kapag ang isang numbers ay positive at ang isa ay negative, you will subtract the number. Then, keep the sign of the bigger number. Kung aling number ang mas malaki, yun ang sign na kukopyahin mo. And if you follow this rule, you'll be exact. So, let's have an example. So, number 1, positive 11 plus negative 5. So, using the rule, positive and negative, so different signs subtract. So, 11 minus 5 is equal to 6. Then, keep the sign of the bigger number. So, this is positive. So, the answer is positive 6. Number 2, negative 10 plus positive 8. So, negative and positive. So, using the rule, different signs subtract. So, 10 Minus 8 is equal to 2. Then, keep the sign of the bigger number. So, pag naghahanap tayo ng bigger number, huwag muna natin papansinin yung um, negative and positive sign. So, 10 and 8, mas malaki yung 10. So, kukopyahin natin yung sign ng negative. So, the answer is negative 2. Number 3, negative 7 plus negative 15. So, negative and negative, therefore, same sign, add and keep. So, 7 plus 15 is equal to 22. Then, keep the sign. So, the answer is negative 22. Number 4, positive 12 plus positive 6. So, positive and positive. So, same sign. Add and keep. So, 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. Then, keep the sign. So, the answer is positive 18. Number 5, Positive 10 plus negative 5 plus negative 9. So, para masagutan natin to, uunahin natin itong dalawang numbers. So, positive 10 plus negative 5, different sign sub subtract. So, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Then, keep the sign of the bigger number. So, the answer is positive 5. So, isusunod natin yung plus negative 9. So, positive 5 plus negative 9 Different sign, so positive at saka negative. Different sign subtract. So, 5 minus 9 or 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Then, keep the sign of the bigger number and you'll be exact. So, the answer is negative 4. So, always remember the rule para hindi tayo nalilito sa pag-add ng integers. So, ulitin natin yung rule. So, kakantahin natin. So, same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number and you'll be exact. So, pag nasa ulo yung rule, madali na lang ang pag-add ng integers. So, next is subtraction of integers. Subtracting integers is adding the opposite of the subtrahend to the minuend. So, para mas madaling matandaan ng process ng pag-subtract ng integers, gagamitin natin ang keep, change, flip. So, keep the first number, change the operation to addition, and flip the sign. Kung positive, magiging negative. So, let's have examples. Subtract the following integers. So, number 1, negative 8 minus negative 7. So, the rule in subtracting integers is number 1 is to keep. So, keep negative 8. So, next is change. So, change minus to addition or change subtraction to addition. 
Then, third is flip. So, from negative 7, magiging siyang positive 7. Okay, so, keep negative 8, change subtraction to addition, then flip negative 7 to positive 7. So, babalik tayo doon sa rule ng addition. So, negative and positive different sign subtract. So, 8 minus 7 is equal to 1, then keep the sign of the bigger number. So, negative, the answer is negative 1. Number 2, positive 11 minus positive 8. So, keep positive 11, then change subtraction to addition, flip positive 8 to negative 8. So, balik tayo sa rule ng addition. So, positive, negative, different sign, subtract. So, 11 minus 8 is equal to 3. Then, keep the sign of the bigger number. So, the answer is positive 3. Number 3, negative 13 minus positive 13. So, the rule is keep, change, flip. So, keep negative 13, change subtraction to addition, then flip positive 13 to negative 13. So, babalik sa rule ng addition. So, negative and negative. So, same sign, add and keep. So, 13 plus 13 is equal to 26, then keep the sign. So, the answer is negative 26. Number 4, positive 9 minus negative 4. So, keep, change, and flip. So, keep positive 9, change subtraction to addition, then flip negative 4. So, magiging siyang positive 4. So, parehas lang po ang 4 sa positive 4. Kung may plus sign or wala, parehas lang po yun. So, positive, then positive, so, that is same sign, add and keep. So, 9 plus 4 is equal to 13, then keep the sign. So, parehas lang naman positive, kaya positive din yung result. Number 5, positive 5 minus negative 5. So, keep, change and flip. So, positive 5, keep, then change, subtraction to addition, then flip negative 5 to positive 5. So, same sign sila. Sa addition, same sign, we will add and keep. So, 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Then, parehas positive. So, the answer is positive 10. Next, we have the multiplication and division of integers. Multiplying and dividing integers is the same as multiplying and dividing whole numbers. So, multiplication and division. So, ito ang tatandaan kapag nagmumultiply and nagde-divide ng integers. Kapag parehong positive, pag parehong negative, or same sign, the result is positive. Kapag magkaiba naman yung sign, different sign, so, kapag ang isang number ay positive at ang isang number ay negative, o ang isang number ay negative at ang isa ay positive, the result is Negative. So, ito lang ang tatandaan kapag magmumultiply at magde-divide ng integer. So, same sign, the answer is positive. Different sign, the answer is negative. So, let's have an example. So, negative 5 times positive 3. So, multiplying different sign, the result is negative. So, the answer is negative 15. Number 2, negative times negative 4 times 3. So, yung negative dito, this is negative 1. Okay po. So, negative 1 times negative 4, the answer is positive 4. Kasi parehas silang negative. So, negative 1 times negative 4, the result is positive 4 times positive 3, the result is positive 12. Number 3, Negative 2 times 4. So, negative and positive magkaiba yung sign. So, the result is or the product is negative. So, the product is negative 8. Number 4, negative 1. So, we have imaginary 1. Negative 1 times negative 6. So, parehas negative. So, the result is positive. So, the answer is positive 6. Number 5, 
negative 1 times negative 7. So, same sign. So, we have positive 7 times positive 4. The result is positive 28. Number 6. Positive 144 divided by negative 8. So, magkaiba yung sign. So, the result is negative. So, positive 144 divided by negative 8 is equal to negative 18. Number 7, negative 72 divided by positive 18. So, since magkaiba yung sign, so, ang magiging sagot natin dito ay negative. So, negative 72 divided by positive 18, the result is negative 4. Number 7, or number 8, negative 35 divided by negative 7, pareho silang negative. So, the answer is positive. Negative 35 divided by negative 7, so the answer is positive 5. Number 9, positive 120 divided by positive 5, so parehas negative positive so, the answer is positive. So, 120 divided by positive 5. The quotient is positive 24. And for number 10, negative 81 divided by positive 3. So, different sign, negative and positive. So, the result or the quotient is negative. Negative 81 divided by positive 3. The answer is negative 27. To summarize, these are the rules in performing the basic operations on integers. For addition, we have same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number and you'll be exact. So for subtraction, we have keep, change, and flip. Then, for multiplication and division, so same sign, the answer is positive. For different sign, the answer is negative. So that's the end of our discussion for today. I hope that you learned how to perform the basic operations on integers. Thank you for watching. So I'm Teacher Les. And don't forget to like and share the video. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for you to be updated to our next lesson.